Hey there, I'm Ryan with StickToLSimmer.com. I'm here in East Nashville at uh, 4115, a recording studio here that, that uh, a friend of mine owns. It's a great place if you're looking to record. I'm not sure if that's your thing, but hey, we were able to come in today and make some great videos for you. I have recently learned that people out there are uh, a little confused about dulcimers versus guitars. Okay, so there are people who refer to stick dulcimers as uh, dulcimer guitars. So this is a matter of just clearing up some terminology, explaining some things. Um, first off, this is a Seagull Merlin M4 model uh, stick dulcimer. And this is a guitar. Shocker, right? I'll come back to the Seagull Merlin in a minute, but just to sort of make sure everybody's on the same page, the guitar has six strings, it is chromatically fretted, so it's got a fret for every single note. Which is different than a dulcimer. Dulcimers generally come what's called diatonically fretted, so they're in one key only. We'll get back to that in a minute. So, six strings, chromatically fretted. We all know what that is, right? Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for a moment. That's your guitar. Um, this, however, is a, um, a chromatically fretted stick dulcimer. Now, some people refer to these as strum sticks, sometimes picking sticks. Um, the family of instrument that they're in is dulcimer, and then it's a stick dulcimer. A lot of people know dulcimers from the mountain dulcimer that's out there, which is very similar. Um, but this one's a little different because it's chromatically fretted. So it's like the guitar in that, in that sense. So this could be what people are referring to sometimes when they say dulcimer guitar. What is a dulcimer guitar? Um, sort of in the eye of the beholder. So the thing about a dulcimer is it's usually tuned to one five octave. Okay, so and usually it's fretted diatonically, but this one's fretted chromatically. This is one that we made here in East Nashville. Um, if you're looking to get into dulcimer guitars, this is maybe not where I would suggest starting. A lot of people, when they're thinking dulcimer guitars, they're thinking of pick and sticks, which are very similar to that. This is a version of a pick and stick. This is a strum stick made by Bob McNally out of New Jersey. Um, this is the G29 model. This is, this is a smaller one. This one's tuned G, D, G. Again, root five octave. But you'll notice now that this is diatonically fretted. Which means it's only in one key. So, you can't play wrong notes. That's a, that's a phrase they like to say. You can't play wrong notes. Whereas a, a chromatically fretted instrument, you could potentially get all kinds of notes that aren't in the scale. These are designed to be only in one scale so that you can make beautiful music, which is what dulcimer means. It means um, beautiful sound. So there's two different types of stick dulcimers. There's the strum stick or pick and stick as it's often known. And then there's the Seagull Merlin. And I want to concentrate on this one, the Seagull Merlin M4. This is a spruce top version. These are made in Canada. Um, the thing about these is they intentionally went for something that more mimics a guitar. So this could be the thing that people are thinking of when they say dulcimer guitar. All right. Now, uh, that makes sense because they are a guitar company. They make acoustics, they make um, some electrics, they make nylon strings, actually just recently started making nylons. Um, so it kind of makes sense that they would go that this route as opposed to the construction style of the pick and stick, which you can see is much more uh, diminished size. And that's just, that has a lot to do with the way it's constructed. So, uh, all that to say, this is a dulcimer guitar. It is a stick dulcimer. So, again, fret it in one key. So no wrong notes. Uh, the difference in this one versus a regular guitar is that the top two strings, this is four strings, are intended to be played together. Now, you would see this sort of thing on a 12 string guitar or on a mandolin, and it's what's referred to as a chorusing effect. Um, I personally love it. Um, I think it just makes a richer sound. So, 
If you're looking to get into dulcimer playing, into stick dulcimer playing, or maybe are in guitar already and want to move into something slightly different, or you've never played a fretted instrument before and you're thinking, how do I get in? This is actually one of the best instruments for it because they've intentionally spaced the neck a little wider so there's, there's more space between the uh, strings. There's more space between the frets because there's fewer frets here. And since you can't play wrong notes, you can get to what you're after way faster. So, now we all know that as Free Fallen, Tom Petty's classic song. I played it on the guitar earlier, but I had to use lots of fingers to do it. On this instrument, because of the way it's strung, one five octave, it sounds good no matter what you do. And so you can get away with playing with one finger. Which is something I like to point out to people because I have run into folks in the past who are like, I have no musical bones in my body, I'm tone deaf, etc. I tried to play guitar, guitar was hard. What do I do? I'm not interested in trying to learn piano, etc. Well, this is for you because you could learn how to play Free Fallen in less than five minutes. And with a little bit of help, a little bit of practice, man, you'd be. So, if you're asking about dulcimer guitars, this is one of the ones I would call a dulcimer guitar in that it is both dulcimer and has guitar-like properties. And, re and refreshing from where we started, this is also a dulcimer in that it's tuned one five octave. It's from the dulcimer family, but it is chromatically fretted, so all the notes. So if you're thinking guitar, maybe this is what you're thinking. Um, there's options, right? You've got lots of choices out there. If you're looking to get into dulcimers, if you're looking to get into dulcimer guitars, these are the options I would totally recommend. If you're a first time player, go for a Seagull Merlin. Um, go for a Seagull Merlin because it's just so much fun. Or if you've gotten one of those already and you didn't know, strum sticks are out there. Consider one of these from Bob McNally out in New Jersey. Um, great instrument as well. So hope that helps clarify anything that was mystical to you. And if you have any questions about all that, as always, feel free to reach out at hello at stickdulcimer.com. Thanks.